Hey, it's Jennifer with Pigskins and Pigtails. I've been teaching how to screen print with vinyl cut on your Cricut or Silhouette for a few years now. One of the questions I get asked most often is, which type of vinyl do you use? And the answer is I use two different kinds. In this video, I'm gonna explain how I choose which one of these two vinyls to use and then how to apply each one to your screen printing frame. This process is so quick and easy that you can get a screen set up to print in less than 10 minutes. First, we need to decide which vinyl to use. The question I ask myself is, will I be printing this design again in the future? Today, I might have 10 shirts to make, but will I need to save this design to use it again tomorrow or a month from now? If the answer is no, then I will use Oracle 651 vinyl. This is an adhesive or sticky vinyl. I cut this vinyl on my Cricut and mirror the design. I use transfer tape to transfer the design to my screen printing frame. Once the transfer tape is applied to the top of the vinyl, just flip it over and remove the backing paper from your vinyl. Then you can stick it to the back of your screen printing frame. Now I peel the transfer tape off, leaving the vinyl stuck to my screen. Once I have my design on my screen, I'm able to use this to print all the shirts or tote bags that I need. When I'm done, I simply peel the vinyl off and wash my screen. I've used one piece of vinyl and one screen to print 200 shirts at a time. This vinyl is really durable and will hold up print after print if you're using the right printing techniques. So that's the first type of vinyl I recommend. Back to our question about will I be printing this design again in the future? If the answer is yes, you do wanna save the design on your screen to print again later, you should use HTV or iron-on vinyl. I like using Caesar Easy Weed for this. I also cut it on my Cricut and once it's weeded, I place it on the back of my screen printing frame. To do this, I do not mirror the design when I cut it. I iron it on the back of the frame using an easy press or you might be able to fit your larger screen under a heat press. I turn my temperature down a little bit to 280 degrees for about 20 seconds. The key is to get your vinyl to stick to your frame, but not get it so hot that the vinyl melts a little around the edges. This can keep you from getting a nice sharp print. Once my HTV is pressed on the screen, you can screen print with this frame. When you're all done printing, wash the screen in your sink and the vinyl is gonna stay on the screen and the ink will wash off. Now I can save this screen to use again another day. This is perfect for your logo or designs that you'll be printing again and again. The only catch is the vinyl doesn't come off this screen easily. You would need to replace the mesh or have multiple screens so that you can dedicate one to each HTV design. So there we go, two different types of vinyl for screen printing. If you'd like to learn more about how to screen print with your Cricut or Silhouette, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a tutorial. I also have additional information on my blog that is linked in the description. Happy crafting!